All right, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and today I'm here in my studio. I, I want to talk to you about about something that is, uh, I think it's it's pretty much hidden out there. Uh, uh, so, so most people talk about two things when it comes to your career, to your art career as an artist. Most people talk about two different things. Uh, usually people talk about working hard. Right, you, you, if, if you follow me here, you, you've heard me talk about working hard. Man, you gotta work hard, you gotta work hard, you gotta put in time, you gotta put in extra hours. Usually, that's what it means, right? I'm gonna put in extra hours, <clears throat> I'm gonna put in, uh, I'm gonna do more paintings than I thought I would, I would possibly do. I'm gonna work more days, uh, I'm gonna go beyond what I think I, I possibly can. Usually, that's working hard, and then there's and then there's people who are a little bit more, uh, uh, they go a little bit deeper and say, hey, don't just work hard, work smart as well, right? Because remember, if you follow me, you know I, I am not a, uh, it's not one or the other. I believe, I believe in, 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 in different components, not just one or the other. So I don't just believe in working hard, I also believe in working smart, right? You have to, you have to use that as well, which is uh, using leverage. Usually working smart means uh, you're doing some sort of leverage. For example, if you're painting, right, you're working hard, you're painting, you're putting your, your effort there, uh, physical effort usually, right, that's what working hard means. Uh, you're, you're, you're also gonna be working smart by, by doing some sort of leverage. Maybe you create an email list, right? Maybe you, 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 you harvest an email list. And instead of just waiting on traffic, now you're sending traffic to your site or to your sales page or whatever. Uh, and, and, and then the way that you create that email list, maybe you're doing it by giving some incentive to, to, to people who sign up or follow you, or, or maybe you use social media or something like that. Usually that's what working smart means. You're using some point of leverage to help you uh, uh, create more effort without or create more results, and that's not without necessarily creating more effort, without working harder. And so most people use those two examples. Most people talk about those. I want to talk to you about a third one that I believe it's kind of hidden. And, and a lot of people out there, I would say most artists, don't really touch on it. Uh, and, and with good reason, I think a lot of people uh, kind of tend to leave it alone. But I believe this is the smartest one, or this is the, the most important one. Now, I don't believe in just one. I believe in, in a combination, but I really believe this is the most important one. And this is the concept of emotional effort. You have to employ emotional effort in the things that you do. That's the third component. In my experience, emotional effort happens to be like the most important thing in there. They're, they they all matter. You have to work hard. Yes, work smart. But emotional effort is so important. Now, what do I mean by emotional effort? Well. Emotional effort is the things that you do that push you out of your comfort zone. Push you out of your comfort zone. For example, uh, asking, asking for the sale. When somebody shows some interest in your work and they're talking about it and, and they kind of leave it alone and, and you don't go back and you don't ask, right? You don't, you don't follow up or you don't ask for the sale. Uh, you don't make that phone call. You don't ask that gallery for the... For the for the uh, for an exhibit for a show or to to have them showcase your work in their in their space, uh, you 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 maybe don't do video on social media, right? It takes some sort of emotional effort because you 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 show up on camera and <laughs> that kind of stuff. All those things they could be little, they could be bigger, but but emotional effort tends to be the thing that I believe propels you even more in your career. It, 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 if if working hard is important. And working smart is important. Emotional effort, it's like a force that comes behind that. It's like fuel that comes behind that and just propels your all your efforts forward. And so uh, again, you don't have to be you don't have to, to use emotional effort, you don't have to work harder, you don't have to work smarter. You actually have to do things that are outside of your comfort. Of your, of your, of your, if it, if it creates a little bit of anxiety, or maybe a lot, I don't know, creates a little bit of anxiety to, uh, to talk to someone, to do a video, to create a course, right, a workshop, to, to, again, ask for the sale, to interview someone, or on and on and on, all those things that create kind of like, oh, man, I don't know if I should do that, I, 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 I don't, I don't feel good enough, or I don't feel like I'm in the, I'm in the space to do that, because, for whatever for whatever reasons 
you are employing emotional effort and emotional effort is so so damn important for your career it just is it's it's i believe it's it's the most important aspect of it it's the fuel it's the fuel of your of your of your uh of your physical effort as an artist right you're you're working hard or if you're working smart that's the fuel that propels everything anyways i'll leave you with this my name is jose trujillo i hope you found this uh helpful Take care and remember, put some emotional effort into whatever you're doing. Talk to you later. Peace out.